place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back. What up, what up, my viewers? What's going on today? It's your boy Levi. We're doing a ride along, and it is Wednesday. <laughs> uh, it's a little slow today, not gonna lie, but uh, it is what it is. Wednesdays, in my opinion, have always been the worst, so hopefully, we can just get a banger basically. That's a uh, that's the plan every day, so uh. Yep, we're on our second order. I think the first one was 31 and the second one was 20. <clears throat> uh, both curve side, so it's grinding it out. But uh, I appreciate all the views and likes and support on my last video. And uh, it's on this YouTube grind. Road to 1K. We're at 801 at the time of recording this. Uh, one thing, if y'all don't know, I mean, if you're not a creator and never even thought about it, you might not know that. But you have to get a thousand subs and four thousand hours of watch time. So, yeah, it kind of sucks because, uh, to be honest with y'all, I had like I don't remember exactly, but like 3,500 when I was really consistent. So, obviously, 500 away, and then just need the thousand subs, and I could have been monetized. But it's on like a rolling year calendar if that makes sense so now my watch hours are a lot less it's kind of discouraging but it's all good like I said I know we'll get monetized eventually I just need to put in the effort in uh, the grind and uh, we'll get there like I said it's not my number one goal obviously or I would have tried to get monetized forever ago but uh you know it would be nice might help buy me a day or two off right with my daughter so it's kind of the purpose of that so anyways i was wanting to tell y'all what happened yesterday i meant to tell y'all but um i was looking at my camera i guess yeah my bad i was looking at the camera to make sure it was uh recording the right thing it says 1080p 120 i don't even know what that means 120 uh frames per second maybe Anyways, the thing I have yesterday during the shop, it's kind of really salty about it. I mean, just freaking ridiculous. Like, I don't even understand how it could glitch up like that, but, you know, because you could literally get deactivated over a glitch like that. But I swear on my freaking, on my life, or like whoever, like, bro, it was 100% their item. I did not have any of my items in the cart. But so I went and do a car check and. You know, I always watch their phone while they're doing it. And she scanned one item, and or he did, and I saw like a red X. So I asked, I was, like, was it not working or whatever? And he said something like, something, blah, blah, blah. And then I looked at my phone, and it basically said the associate scanned something that doesn't appear to basically be on the order. If it's a personal item, do you want to pay for it, or do you want to give it back to the associate? And I asked him, I said, well, what do you want to click? I mean what the freak I was like it's 100% his item but he's just like uh, I guess just click uh, you'll pay for it I was like okay and then it went away but I showed him on my item list where the item was and he's like huh that's really weird I've never seen that and I was like yeah I mean it's just a freaking glitch I guess but that glitch could get somebody deactivated so I was pretty mad about that but um I was talking to some other drivers. Evidently, uh, this person's mom had two of them, so I don't know. I just think it's a ridiculous glitch or whatever. Like, if it's really not your item and it's the customer's item and that's coming up, uh, that should be addressed immediately. So, yeah, and I don't really like that. But And then when that happened, they also, I got like four more cart checks that day, like, that kind of triggered something, that evidently, because, you know, y'all usually get, like, one car check a day, but I got, like, five that day. I was like, man, this is freaking ridiculous. But, anyways, I am about to drop this curbside off. We are two minutes away, and uh, I'll get back with y'all, and hopefully this day goes good for a Wednesday. So, cross your fingers. What up, you guys? Checking in with y'all. We got an absolute banger. Exactly what I needed to fix my day, because, oh, my gosh been really slow to be honest but uh yeah the banger basically changed it around 
Although, then again, we're still just a little behind, bro. Like, I don't know. Just uh, not seeing a lot of orders today. And, uh, you know, more miles than normal. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Making it a little tough. But uh, we got a $50 curbside. And now we're on a basically $30 curbside. But it is 16 miles. You know, I don't understand why they map it like that. I mean, I get it. I know why they map it like that because they don't really care. But um, basically when you come out of Walmart, they basically put when you come out of Walmart, you got an order going left, like five miles, and then you got another order that you should have went right, if that makes sense, like, you know, eight miles. So you end up passing Walmart after the first drop off, and so it just makes it like 16 miles, like... They shouldn't really map orders like that. Like, both orders should be left out of Walmart. Both orders should be right out of Walmart. Or, you know, like, maybe two miles right, two miles left. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think 16 miles for a curbside. It's getting really crazy. Like, they didn't used to really do that, which is zone. It might just be a lot of the zone. But 16 miles for a curbside is kind of crazy, but... Uh, as long as the money adds up, I don't care. <clears throat> and uh, as y'all know, I just had somebody in the parking lot literally five minutes ago ask me, do I do Spark? And uh, yeah, you know, I told them, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. But they're just saying, I was like, asking them, I said, do you do it? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, do you like it? And they're just like, they don't know yet. And I was like, yeah. I mean, there's probably more people that don't like it than do. So um, I might be one of the few that do like it I don't know I feel like most stuff you look on my YouTube is negative stuff like I swear I feel like I'm one of the only channels that be reporting just in generally good mood good video like I'm not really ever that mad at Spark and stuff but uh most videos you look up people are just always complaining and stuff so I don't know might just be me might not I don't really know I just want to tell y'all real quick what I'm doing just people that uh play a lottery y'all would be more interested in it uh if you don't play a lottery might not be interested in it but uh <clears throat> i mean maybe i'm an idiot but uh i don't know i swear i feel like i'm gonna hit this lottery one day like it's not a huge amount of money but i mean sh it's pretty huge but, i mean you know when people talk about the lottery <laughs> love y'all can see that <laughs> when i edit this i'm gonna see if that picked that up but that was hilarious Oh, there was somebody literally laid back on a fire hydrant and I was like I know it's not a real person um, but it was definitely a real person they were literally laid back like I don't even understand how they're laid back on that fire hydrant but uh anyways I don't know what I was just saying that was hilarious um I was talking about the lottery um yeah I think I was talking about the lottery like I said I just gonna tell you what I'm doing oh yeah like I said it's not a huge amount of money but because when people talk about the lottery, they're like, oh, man, I need to hit the Powerball for $1.5 billion. But um, this lottery I've been playing, it's at a million right now. And it goes up 20000 every draw, which they draw on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, I just want to tell you all the strategy my dad came up with. Which my dad actually hit 70000 on it. And uh, if he was doing the strategy before, you know, he would have hit the jackpot. But he didn't think about this. Basically, it goes the white balls. You got five white balls and a cash ball, power ball, they call it. And like I said, you ain't going to win as much money. But like I said, it's at a million right now. I mean, that's a pretty good chunk if you're not an idiot with it. But, uh, you know, like power ball, for example, goes one through 70. And then the power ball actually goes one through like 35, I think. And so on this one, the white balls only go one through 35. And then the cash ball is one through five. So you're really cutting your chances a lot your odds down to hopefully hit it but my dad came up with a strategy like i said since the cash ball is only one through five you just play five quick picks one through five and so you're guaranteed to have the cash ball so then you're only have to play five white balls and i mean it just helps your chances like there's a bunch of times i hit two or three numbers to be honest with y'all uh but you know the two or three numbers they don't really pay that much they might pay 10 20 bucks 30 bucks uh, and you really got to hit the four or five to get a decent chunk but even when you hit the five like you gotta hit the jackpot to really hit even when you just hit like four in the cash ball it only pays like 150 or something uh as it grows of course the money that you hit on the lower numbers gonna hit but 
like I said, you hit uh, you're just playing five white balls. Like you're guaranteed, like you're guaranteed to have the cash ball. So, like I said, I would love to freaking hit that. You can take a million, literally at my age, and invest it and do right with it. And uh, I probably would still work Spark some. Like I. I'd be manifesting, I guess that's what they call it. I'd be thinking about what I would do if I hit the lottery. Um, like I said, I would definitely buy like a $300,000 duplex and rent both sides out for like $1,500 a piece. So right there is $3,000 just income coming in. Of course, you got to maintain it, manage it, whatever. But uh, that would definitely be one of the main things I did to get money back. So, But I, w- I would probably still work, like probably make two to $400 a week, I think I'll spark. Just to bring some money in, you know, two to four hundred. If it's four hundred, that's sixteen hundred a month. So that with the duplex, I mean, that's pretty good income right there. Just nothing crazy, but of course, with that lottery money too, you, I'd buy a house, obviously pay for it cash. I wouldn't have a mortgage or nothing. But yeah, I know I probably ain't never gonna hit it. But you never know. I mean, you might play those numbers for ten years and finally hit, and obviously it'd be way worth it. Um, to do the five things like I told you, it's five dollars. So five dollars on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So. It's only 15 bucks a week, man. You got a decent chance to hit it. So, anyways, I'm about to drop this curbside off. I just wanted to tell y'all about that because I don't know. I guess if y'all live in Tennessee, uh, y'all could try that. But your state probably has a similar one, I'm sure. Uh, it just cuts your chances down a lot. But of course, you're not going to win the billions. But how much money do you really need? But, uh, anyways, I'm going to drop this off. I'll get back with y'all. What's up you guys? Checking in with y'all. We had a 2288 curb and a $29 shop. Um, shop should be on the screen. I got it after I bagged it. I like to do it before I bagged it, but just uh, forgot. But first of all, <clears throat> I wanted to talk to y'all. One of my most disliked things about Spark besides like somebody removing your tip. Um, as y'all see, there should be two screenshots of my order. Like you accept it pickup time normally for all orders is 45 and then they moved it back to 505 after like two minutes accepting it first of all spark ought to know if they're going to move that back and they ought to send it to you with the time change just to be upfront about it to let you decide if you want to take it or not uh with the time change and not affect your metrics but yeah but yeah i cannot stand that like definitely because I, I mean they I don't know my store was kind of behind but not really but I just let you check in and if you gotta wait 20 minutes and whatever you wait but like it's crazy to make you have to wait 20 more minutes to check in like you might as well just check in and get it when you can but yeah I, I don't have that much say so so but yeah that put us at uh 185 did that shop it's just a really slow day I uh, only had six orders but is that 185 uh luckily one paid 50 or would have been kind of extra rough but i mean 185 ain't bad but um it did work like nine and a half hours so not the absolute best but uh not the absolute worst but wednesdays always in general are the slowest don't know why people just don't order on uh wednesdays i guess but uh, another thing I was going to talk to y'all real quick about. If y'all been around for a while, y'all know I did a lot of curries last year, a good amount. Uh, I don't know what happened. It's just dried up, bro, or something. Like, half the time when I see an order on curry, it's not good or somebody already got it. And I don't know why. Like, I've not had one curry order that I've done all of 2024, which is insane. I like having, you know, at least curry a month but it's dried up bro so i have no idea so hopefully we get one this month or uh i don't know i guess there ain't nothing we can do about it we'll just uh keep waiting but anyways that's our ride along for the day it's a little bit definitely a slow day but uh it is what it is life of a full-time gig driver for spark some days are a super roller coaster and some days are uh, a beetle so it is what it is <laughs> but i appreciate all the likes and love and uh support on my last video and hopefully uh, y'all watch this video 
and uh, hopefully we just keep grinding. I grind spark. I need to grind YouTube, like I grind spark, and uh, and I need to grind a couple other things like I grind spark. And I've been doing really good. Like I'm doing a lot better, but uh, things could always be better. So uh, shout out to the Discord if you're not in the Discord, join it. In case I haven't mentioned that in this video, uh, you can talk to me every day, talk to other members every day, and basically post whatever you want. Literally. Uh, we have a lot of different threads for all kinds of different things. So, uh, yeah, pique your interest and join. Say what's up. Do not join. If you don't want to say nothing at all, it's just kind of weird. But I guess if you want to join and not say nothing, that's fine. But it's kind of weird. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. And uh, until later, stay kind of stay beautiful. Peace.